Hey guys, and welcome back. Uh, Raven here. We are playing Pizza Connection 2. We are in story mode. Um, just a little bit of a recap. In the previous episode, uh, we learned that we had a great uncle who gave us a little bit of an inheritance, a pizza cart, and we just got our first restaurant. Um, we played around a little bit with uh, the architect and designing, um, and now we're trying to get 45% satisfaction from at least three citizen types. So I've got it paused here because I didn't want you guys to miss anything. So let's see what happens. They're open. Hopefully we get our first customer soon. Um, and I think we can still go check on our little pizza cart. Let's see what our pizza cart's doing. It's doing good. It's making 6k a day. Uh, Add the I don't care special. So you do have to edit. Um, why do we get? Oh. So you know what? Let's take the I don't care special off. And stick with our very basic. Um, this for this. Let's go back to our. Okay, students like oregano. I can I can dig that. Cool. Does anybody else like oregano? Okay, let me go back. Okay. All right, they're filling up our. Uh, Storage. I like the fact that you can kind of see the storage in this one versus some of the other ones. Like you just kind of saw crates uh, sitting on the floor. So I'm curious to see um, if you have any options for like refrigeration or anything like that or upgrading refrigeration. Because um, that was a big issue in Pizza Connection 2. So I'm curious to kind of see... Since it looks like we can edit this, um, how how far can we edit this? And we also see the kitchen, like, um, the kitchen is a little different. Like, it's connection one and two. This was all kind of like an open area with this, the storage area a little closed off. And I don't even recall Pizza Connection one having a storage area or needing to have uh, delivery guys. So, uh, the delivery guys are the, the, the runners, supply runners. Um, were added in Pizza Connection 2, if I recall correctly. So, I'm curious, I'm curious to see what, if we've expanded on this at all, and, um, what we can do with that. And I see that they took some of the stuff away from the employees. Like, all you can kind of see is their cooking quality and their speed. Like, we don't have the motivation anymore, it looks like. Um, so that was, so that's interesting. Like, I kind of liked the motivation. Um, but, I mean, it's taken out, so it's, it's not a deal breaker for me. But the motivation in 2, in 1 and 2, kind of let you know like how likely they were to show up for work and if you gave them a raise um, it increased the chances of that of them coming to work and being happy so I you know seeing that they took that out um, is interesting so it kind of it's one of those like why would you fire an employee at this point Can we look far? I want to look at. So it looks like in this location, we don't hit peak until 3 a.m. So we like we have people that like to come in, and of course they're tourists that we have 
do not have a menu catered around. So maybe we actually need to try to cater around the tourists in this area. Um, looks like we have some big shots in this area. Um, so students, it looks like tourists, students, and big shots are our three big priorities. It's gonna be interesting. Shots even like. Okay, so teens like us, students like us. Um, and oldsters seem to be a little steady. So maybe we can get the oldsters. Uh, what do? Okay, they like practically nothing. They like variety, vegetables, and fruit. That's not gonna be hard. Show the city that you can make a restaurant profitable, then you'll get new offers. Earn 15 grand. Alright, I mean, sure. So workers love our tourists are happy about our menu. Um, I would like to get something on the menu that tourists love. So, oh look, here comes a worker. That reminds me of Gru from uh, Minions. Despicable Me. to change the name. Through the restaurant. Yeah, I kind of like La Vendetta. Because we kind of sort of have a vendetta against this uh, other family. Now, does this take into account our pizza cart, or is this just the restaurant? Okay, so we know that the tourists like spices. So, what if we start out with spices? don't have a complete green happy phase, but I mean, we've got like the okay phase, which is better than what we were doing. I don't even know what, what would I even call this? Pizza? Hot dog surprise? Tourist special for now. There is one here so we could catch What's this school. Which is a cost of rain. Okay, so the price changes, I believe. Um it's on location.
larger dining room, it's more chairs, employ or faster service. Okay. Doesn't tell you how to advertise. Maybe we'll get into that a little bit later. closed. Can we change the walls? We can change the decoration. Uh, I find that going with simple and rustic seems to or at least in the previous one seem to help out a lot so Let's see Other decorations, can we? Okay, some of the stuff we can't purchase yet. I'm assuming we have to unlock it at some point. Simple of modern or rustic. Give them stick of it. Like it. Love these little signs. I want one so bad, but not unlocked that yet. Let's get out of here. What time do we open? Forgot. Nine. Okay. All right. What should we get? We should we get? Let's fast forward to like. Oh, what is this? Okay, automatically show a report at the end of the day. Right, that's cool. everybody. We don't have anybody set for delivery. Just yet. What's this? Okay. Okay, we've got more customers. This is good. Good. Okay, so if we make changes, they don't take effect until the next day. It's fine.
So how do we get more people in? I feel like our range of influence is big enough. It's gonna be one of those where we're like we have to. Like I wonder if our radius of influence also changes if we get a big restaurant. But bigger doesn't necessarily mean better considering we aren't that busy right now. Uh, so we could do this, but that's only right there at the. I don't know, how do you do? Advertising. I'm wondering, um, because we seem to be busier between 21 and 3 a.m., does that mean we sh ought to change this? Maybe. Maybe we should do this. Like, all these changes are gonna take place tomorrow. Which is fine. I'm okay with that. We open later and until 3 a.m. And then maybe we'll get more customers. We'll see how it does today as well as we get closer to that time. Like, can we change the walls? Like, I don't know if we can actually change what the walls look like. Why are you only carrying one? You're a returning customer? Oh, you're quick. Practically sprinted that pizza to her. So it looks like we're getting a little more customers now. But it's really supposed to pick up around the 2100 hour. That's what, 10p? I jacked up my pizza place because I messed with the time when it wasn't an off, when it wasn't already previously closed. Jesus. Okay, all right. Crew's here. We're not gonna. We now know. Don't mess with. Uh, don't mess with it until unless it's closing time. Already. Jesus. It's a little dark in here, dude. Like. I need to give you a light. Bad now. It's not as busy as I was expecting it. A little disappointed. I like to see them run around with the dolly though, that's cute. Oh, there's a little sparrow. Hi! Wow, our little cart costs more to run than, or more to rent than our actual place. Like, that's insane. However, our overhead is just the 650, whereas over here we have that and employees. 
ingredients. All of that. Way more. It's fine. Trend. We're improving. Okay, so apparently the furniture at our restaurant is okay. They like our pizza. It's from an old cake. Okay. So we get to see kind of Not really sure what this number is out here. Like the sure, all right, let's check our pizza cart. Let's see, do we want to locations? in this area because you know that be good okay we can move it like directly across the street from our restaurant cinema the market everyone has to go shopping looks like it's down the street. Is it down the street? No, we're on the other side of the city. Uh. Let's see. give us a lot more Let's see I think I like this one let's, let's try this Okay, we're opening at 1500. All right, that's not what I set it to, but whatever, three hours late. For business. Cool. Nice in your outfit. So if people throwing their trash in the street, like I just don't understand. All right, give me some people. What people in here? We've got plenty of ingredients. They seem to be going good, however. Can't seem to get over the 10k hump here. Hopefully, having my card in the new location will help. Seems to have a lot more traffic than the other area. Although sporadic, it does seem to have more. Um, here's hoping that we do get... Let's 
empty metro apartment with a food stall right outside. Oh, a mall. So we're right here at a mall. Lots of teens. And a factory. That's good. We just put our food truck right outside the factory. So hoping for lots of work. That would be really, really good for us. Where are all these people that it we should be having right away? I don't I don't get it. Where's my people? Like we're only getting like one customer at a time. There we go. Here we go. Say don't hover. There we go, this looks better. That's why we got Speedy Gonzalez working. Oh, she's not that, that fast, but her cooking quality is good. Are you the fast one? Yeah, you're the fast one. This is much better. Now we're getting people in here. At 2200. It's good. We're almost to 15k. So we'll be able to do the uh, this part of this little chapter. That's right. You serve your heart out. Get them their pizza. I'm not really sure how I feel about the uh, the eating animation. Oh, we did it. Your first restaurant is pleasing the people of Rome. You should take it one step further and try to explain your local dominance carefully. Okay? I don't know what that means. Oh! Oh! We have a totally new... Dear Mrs. Montago, Your father had to disappear to save your life and your mother's. And it wasn't the Frodados who threatened them. For all we know, he's still alive. A friend. Uh-huh. There is another interesting restaurant in a good location empty. You should lease it and expand your business. Okay. The room layout is rather unfavorable. The architect. God. The best option for now is probably a restaurant with three rooms. Kitchen, dining room, and storage. This will be our dining room. Our storage. Our kitchen. An unexpected offer. The mayor. I like the way you handle your business. It would be my pleasure to make you an offer you can't refuse. Fill my request within the next days. If you get into financial trouble, I will help you out. Every contribution to the city's wealth is warm. Welcome. Okay. Business as usual. 
You did a great job at your first restaurant. This time, you should go full force. You need more and better employees to further improve your profit mar margin. You should increase the opening hours of your restaurant. Three shifts should do the job. Now go and prepare everything for the grand opening tomorrow. Okay, so let's pause this while we're hiring and everything. So he wants three shifts. So we're going to be open 24-7. Uh, Alright. Actually hire somebody decent cooking skills and is a little slow. Between six and nine. So it's okay, it's gonna be fairly slow, so it's gonna be okay. It's not gonna pick up until the evening. It's two. Okay. My oh. dear grandniece, so now you have two restaurants. Mr. Andrizetti has always been a faithful soul in the management of my Roman restaurants. I don't know what they told you about your mother's death, but she died when you were just two years old. The cause of death is a little suspicious. The doctor said it was a heart attack. She was just 28. By then, your father had already disappeared. He didn't come to the funeral either, even though your mother's death made headlines around the world. Your grandfather's violent death was only a few weeks before. You grew up in an orphanage, not knowing where you came from, who your family was. And that, believe me, was one of the hardest decisions I've ever made. But life goes on, and it's your turn now. Rome is yours if you want it. I know you can do it. Your great uncle, Carmine. Well then, so we just found out we were an orphan. Right. Well, it seems to be a little bit busier. Expected it to be. We should be doing better now. I think everything should be opening up. We're all opened up. This opens. Still got a few hours for that to open. So should we should get out of the red soon. Yeah, we're finally in the green. The first day was a small success. You should always try to improve your margins. Check your daily reports to find and get rid of weak spots in your restaurant. This will help you sell even more. Alright. So we need to sell 50 pizzas. 
72 hours. Um, I mean, I don't know if we're set up in the best location. Me not being able to advertise, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I wonder what happens if we fail the mayor. Look good. Oh, and it has to be in the second restaurant. Oh boy. This still isn't nearly as busy as I as I thought it would be. Slowing down here. So we get into the late hours. So this is actually expected to pick up late hours. Right, change another guard. Play out like six of fifty pizzas, so like this isn't good. Not at all. It's showing that we should be picking up in some people. Let's see. Do they all come in? It's two of them do. We got 17 of 50 pieces sold, so we're doing good. Why are you saying that you're out of ingredients? You're not out of ingredients. You have a stock room full of freaking ingredients. What are you talking about? This one. This one. For now. And we create some more simple pizzas. Alright, they are happy, so we're gonna save. It's a decent price. We have a little bit of a profit. Um, I would not, um, if I was in a free to play, I would not have opened up a second store so early. What is this? It's like a little play area. Interesting. Um, I wouldn't have opened up a second one so soon with that little cash. Um, but since we are in campaign mode and story mode, uh, I guess we'll see what a good old great um, 
great uncle has for us. Um, I am going to end this episode here. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. Uh, tune back in and we'll see how the second restaurant goes. See if we are able to appease the mayor and see what we get out of that. So catch you guys later.